Okay, this is a, a, a bit of a late update. I've uh, I forgot all about it. I was only talking to Greg today, uh, like we do talk every day when we're talking doing model models, and, uh, and I realised that I hadn't done an update on my sub, and he was just about to do another one on his um, his his Russian battleship. So I thought, well, I'd better get stuck in. So here, here she is. Um, and what you can see is how far I've got to. I have basic coats. Well, I actually mixed my own uh, reddish brown that goes on the side here. On the other side, that's uh, we're using black and uh, red oxide, German red oxide, and it was a near match to the uh, what I could see in the photographs and what I could see on the instructions as well. Um, you won't see any handrails yet, but they are in these positions here on both sides. I've painted them in like a like a grey colour so they stand out. I will zoom in on those. I actually used an old punch to make little small um, supports and then uh, and used stretch sprue to actually add the actual handrail. It was the easiest way to do it as well and plus I could use normal glue. And then when for the front it's one piece that goes all the way around and joins the other side. I haven't added the um, the um, loop lenses in yet because I've got to paint a couple of white little stripes in both sides and then uh, I might as well put a little dab of red in uh, port and um, um, green for starboard uh, before I put the uh, clear clear into that. Um, I have hand painted all these you can see along here the yellow uh, squares the white squares as well and the other end as well also behind um, uh, the actual behind the just behind the propellers or the propulsion area I've done that as well I also had to paint one of these arrows and I think yes this side where is actually um, I got it in the wrong place and I couldn't get it to move obviously so it's too late so what I did is I painted it sprayed it black and then went in the hand painted it and it came out quite well so I'm quite pleased with that so that was okay. Got a touch of silver in on the decals, but the point is when I to do my oils later, that that would tone that down a little bit because uh, same way, you don't look at like it's any silver, but it's a shine, slight shine on it, but a bit of matte over it, and obviously with the oils, it should actually cover that. Um, I've done some, as I said, I've done detail painting on the top as well. I didn't use the decals for the emergency hatches at either end. Um, what I've done is I've painted the yellow and I think it's more definite, the actual decals were a bit thick and I didn't think they looked very nice. I've got the yellow circles done and what I've got to go in later on is check on it and make sure you do little black stripes on it. Now I couldn't see any on the, the subs I looked at, pictures, but I, I could just leave them yellow for now. I have actually purchased a new one of this kit as well, so I can do it, have another go later on. And it's funny how this one didn't join together very well. and the, the, the uh, very the two whole one tops didn't join very well, but the actual new one actually fitted quite quite near enough like a glove. A little bit of filling needed to do, but not much. Anyway, so I've rescribed some of the panel lines again down this bit area here and round the other side. And so there you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna zoom in a bit. So you can see what I mean. If you can see those colours now quite nicely. Um and you can see I've done the dots. Now the good thing is there is a deep park and there is a, is a, a scribed panel on three of those squares. And the decal, when I looked at it, I thought myself, it was quite thick, it's not going to lay down properly and, I'm, um, and I thought it might be easier to take me time and paint them and I did. Now they're not perfect but they've but finished one a bit of, bit, bit of oils over them, a bit of a wash and they're going to look okay anyway. Uh, so, same with the circle on the top, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, so there you go and if I come up slightly I think you see the handrails now, and I'm going to zoom in there, see if I can get any, any closer. Yeah, look at that. The handrails there, you actually can actually see a gap the other side if you paint them. And I might paint them black later on so they don't stand out quite so much. But on the photographs, there was a handrail, a, a handle on the door. Uh, so I decided to do it and uh, on the back as well there's on both sides so I've actually done those and they do look better but I painted them uh, German grey so they stand out so it'd be okay for you seeing what that's there so if I don't know if I can go any closer in a minute come from the top down uh, but I will do but there is a gap there and what I've seen is one of the one a stoop one I think it was in one of the harbours had, had, had ro a rope actually hanging on there about this one here hanging down thick rope so it's quite thick and there must be a gap there obviously it's for if the crew do have to go out on the deck and there's a bit of a choppy sea deck and they've got handrails to hold on to so yeah so I'm quite pleased with it it doesn't it looks a bit mucky the way the grey and that's why I'm going to actually go over with semi-gloss black or even oil wash around it and it most probably take it tone it into it as well because I want to get some of these panels done now another thing is there's a lot of um 
sonar panel basically uh, reflectors all around this area and a few along here so and I haven't done them so what I'm going to use is try and simulate it with oils and uh, Switcher uh, mentioned that when I spoke to him on Monday about doing that so I may do that I, I personally like the colour as it is now it does look quite nice in this colour but I, I think I'm going to go that way anyway, do a bit more. I've got to do some washes over the top. It's a bit of dry brushing to bring, pick up some of the details a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And, and that'll be okay, right? So if I switch off now, come back in a couple of seconds. Well, I'm back on part two. The, my original part two uh, basically wouldn't upload. It was just circling on the computer, which is very unusual. So what I've done, I'm just doing this a three, four days. We can see there's no grey sheet, sheet behind it. I decided to go this way. Uh, so you can see a bit more of the detail anyway. And if I come down a bit closer, there you go. So if I run along, I think you can see. So I should have got a smooth run all the way across. Whoops, and round to the back. You're not going to see a great deal there anyway, but uh, yeah, so she's basically the gold in there. I'll show that in photographs later on when I've finished, I think. But I think you can see the yellow circle I did. That's the actual escape hatches, evidently. Um, done them by hand, <coughs> uh, like I did all this, the bits earlier on. And I think I mentioned uh, this here was painted in uh, Vallejo, Vallejo, um, uh, old gold gold and then uh, semi matted over the um, cervical over there was actually done with the same as the other one yellow and you can see a bit of wornness now I was going to try and do something about that but I thought no I'm going to use that it would be all it would actually look quite nice so whoops there they look quite nice these all move still both move just left them like that that's it and yeah so <coughs> well I think that's it really if I could zoom down a bit more I've got to, I've got to do that, you can actually see them handrails with the gap is anyway. I don't know if you can, yeah you can, just about. So anyway, I'm going to call that quits on this one and um, catch you on the, the final reveal will be the next one. And um, happy modelling. And sorry about the second one not being the same as the first in, rev in regards to the background. Uh, but other than that, I think we're okay. Happy modelling.